like button because it's go time. Do it up! So now we have the typical Melanie Martinez stan, which by the way, when I first started YouTube back in 2019, I loved Melanie Martinez too. Not so much now, I don't really listen to her anymore. But yeah, I noticed the whole Melanie Martinez aesthetic with the way that she's dressing. Or he, I, I can't even tell. Or it, probably doll, judging from the last video. You know, I think the reason why they do this is because like, if you put a bunch of metal and stuff on your face and cover all your features, nobody can tell if they're masculine or feminine features, so they can't tell your gender. I don't think this person even knows their gender. What the heck? Oh. Get the kids out of there! So what the hell is this? Their parents are just letting these little kids be around these adults dressed like Toy Story characters twerking all over each other. The hell? And they're teaching them how to do it. They are teaching them these mating positions. They're, all the kids are just looking up at that and trying to imitate it. It's, I wish I could say I'm surprised, but I'm not. Because weird, creepy, stuff like this happens on the daily and it gets posted online and I see it all the time and it's just and it's kind of desensitizing us to stuff like this That little, that little baby slapping, je uh, slapping that woman's ass. All the adults there need to be arrested. This is, this is just beyond disgusting. has gone to crap. <laughs> it says children belong at drag shows. Children deserve to see fun and expression and freedom. Meanwhile, said fun, expression, and freedom, a, a dude with silicone <laughs> half naked. Leading this little girl by the hand. That's not gonna emotionally scar the kid at all. Disgusting. <laughs> Lovely. There's money in his thong. <laughs> and now you got the kid into the spotlight. And you got all the child admirers over here looking at this kid dancing with this drag queen. <laughs> Mm -mm. All the adults there need to be arrested. What? What they in the pack for life? Some something? Oh. What's the point of that? But it's not confusing. It's just people with dog masks in a pool. It's love and self-expression. It's just your own individuality. You know, there's nothing weird about going out in public wearing fetish masks around children. You know, the hose in the backyard didn't qualify for these dogs. I got the shakes that will make what? you wait. wait, wait. I Why am I here? Eyes that'll cross your eyes. Who did this? I got burgers that. What? Get, I don't want to react to myself. No, get this out of here. <laughs> I, just, I just got burned. Okay. 
Next TikTok. What the? Ah, no! Mod Pie did not deserve this kind of abuse. So first she had to carry those boulders on her shoulders, and now she has to carry the burden of this man's fetish too? Nah, I'd be done. I'd file a complaint to Princess Celestia and ask for a 30-30. Seriously though, FBI, check this dude's hard drives. I don't know if I'm gonna post this or not, but I just need a fucking rant. Universal, Universal labor support, support just called me. Okay, we're a split second in, and you've already dropped two F-bombs, so I know that's not a good sign. You probably got some extra stuff going on up in here. Trigger warning, yelling, and transphobia regarding dead naming. Okay. And first thing I did is dead name me. Okay, I'm gonna count on my fingers how many f bombs this girl drops. So far, we got four. Love that. We're off to a really good start. They ask us on the veil. I agree with you. We're off to a really good start because you already. Wait, why did I do this? You've already got five f bombs. Congrats. Well, for a shit. In nine weeks, they have not scheduled me. First of all, mostly everyone who calls from labor support knows me as Max, not dead name. Getting off to a really good start right there, aren't we? Okay, I'm running out of fingers here. If she drops another f bomb, it, uh, I'm gonna start uh, have to start counting with my toes. <laughs> Second, pretty much everyone I talk to knows about my situation. They know that I'm homeless. It's not like I have a bed I can crawl up in. I'm counting on my toes. You just can't see it. And take a nice goddamn nap. I don't have an accessible shower. I don't have anywhere to. I'm just gonna. Have you ever thought to question why that is? I'm sure if I were an employer and you showed up, I'd just be dying to give you a job, like, right away. No, seriously though, any smart employer should never hire anybody with pronouns on their resume. Keep my dog! And they're trying to schedule me on Sunday. No f notice. Nobody calls me and says, hey, yo, we want to schedule you now. No. They ask if I'm available to their f needs. I'm running out of toes, too. After they f me over for nine f weeks. Go f yourself, Universal. Okay, so you mean to tell me that you have no home? Meaning you have no shower and no place to put your dog. You don't even have a bed to sleep on. And these people called you so that you can do your job by their schedule and not yours? When they're, uh, they're practically offering you money right there? And you don't wanna take it because it's their schedule and not yours? Okay, what the hell is wrong with you? Because if you don't have a home or, or a place to put your dog or any of that, then why does the schedule matter? What are you doing all day that could possibly make your schedule so important? Tuesday, no, I I'm busy being homeless. Oh, uh, Wednesday, I gotta be homeless all day that day, can't go. Saturday, Sunday are out because I tend to be homeless on those days. But I know you would be a joy to work with, with anybody. Thank you for dead naming me. Thank you for not changing my name on my ID. Thank you for not understanding my situation. I am so done with companies f***ing us over. I am so sick and tired of filling out application after application for loans to get money to get ahead. I am so done. Why do these companies learn? The whole reason why I'm in this situation is because they don't pay me enough. And I'm not the only one. I hate living in my car. I hate not being able to work. I hate not having a proof of work. Me and my partner. Oh. I, doing I think the weirdest part of this video 
is the fact that this person actually managed to get a partner. Un unless, you know, that's just another lie. Because this is prime wife material right here. Everything I can to live, to have a comfortable life, but it's not not because this country doesn't believe that minimum wage should be able to pay all your bills comfortably. Be grateful that in this country, you're even allowed to dress like that and pretend that you're Max. And I just know, she's one of those vote blue no matter who girls. Meaning, she votes for the people who are creating the problems that she's complaining about in the first place. And I'm done. I'm done. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say, yeah, you're right. You're f my no, what's that? What's he playing? This is my boy and his girlfriend all the way over in America. Oh, it's one of them AI girlfriends. I don't have to tell you, Mom. Oh, <laughs> but if she's gonna be my daughter in law one what? day. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, hormones, young love. Your bloodline ends with you. No, is the girl on her period in the room with us? Bro, I just found the son of Jay Leno and Miranda Sings. Loser, shouldn't be with ya. Yes, I'm a quitter, but you're about to drink. He's like dressed like Miranda Sings. I know you've been like teasing some new music. Oh. <laughs> Jojo Siwa. Jojo Siwa. And you know, you gave us a fair warning, okay? It's gonna be some graphic stuff, maybe some things that people have not seen from you before. How excited are you to enter a new space? For sure, things that people have not seen from me before. I am very excited. I've seen people before me make this transition, and she might be taking testosterone. Like, listen to that voice, or she's just been smoking a whole lot. That would explain her reckless behavior. I mean, she's like cheated on every single one of her girlfriends so yeah maybe she needs to keep cheating until she figures out yeah you know maybe this gay thing isn't for me i've seen how much i loved it and i've seen i i know she's never been like a great singer but what is that voice and that person with that voice is pursuing a music career you serious what i can see from this is that she's trying to become like the new dove cameron or uh, Olivia Rodrigo. And I've seen also how much the world has criticized this. By, I am ready for that. Um, one thing that I think no one's done is given the heads up. And so I think that was really, it was important to me to give that heads up. Hold on, let's read that. The following content is not made for children and may be disturbing or offensive to some viewers. May contain themes, violence, strong language, traumatic scenarios, and flashing lights. <laughs> oh, can't have those flashing lights, folks. That was really, it was important to me to give that heads up. Um, and be like, look, if you follow along, that's on you. <laughs> you want to go, now's your time. Like, but in the best way possible, now's your time. Well, how does it feel to make that transition from like... Some well, we can't say she didn't warn us. Hey, she's going to go full Epstein Island on you, but at least she gave a warning. Well, that would be considered like a child star to like growing up as the actual person adult that you are. It's it's interesting, especially too, because I feel like a lot of child stars started as a character, then they grew into an adult as themselves. Whereas for me, I've always been myself. You know what I mean? And so <laughs> to tr make this transition while being true to myself, while being artistic, has been interesting to figure out. But I think we've nailed it, and I think it definitely makes a massive statement maybe she is turning into her mother okay so she says that a lot of child stars start as a character and then they get to be themselves when they become an adult i think she's gonna go in the opposite direction i think she's gonna try to portray the most shocking character possible so that people will kind of think of her as like miley cyrus or amanda Bynes, you know those messed up people but you won't be hearing things like i'm gonna come back like a boomerang Oh, ooh, oh, ooh, oh. Maybe even too big of a statement, but uh, these yeah, it makes a massive statement. You're followed by 12 million kids on Instagram. 
who knows how many on YouTube. There's gonna be a whole generation of girls who liked you when they were kids and then they're gonna look back and think, wow, this is the person who I wanted to be when I grew up? Not that I would know anything about that or anything. Hi, fellow white people. Black History Month is tomorrow. Added herself already. Fellow white people. Really? Yeah. You're just hiding in plain sight. Uh, could you just like turn your turn your head a little bit like this like Like how Ariana Grande always does in pictures what? Oh Let's not do anything to ruin it Okay, my f too late. You already ruined it with those tacky glasses Why is it always rainbow glasses? Fellow milk crickets what? Us cornstarch plain vanilla people just need to step aside for the cocoa kings and queens of this month. By the way, this came out last month because this is Women's History Month. But I'm sure she wouldn't care because to her, it's Pride Month all year. Wait, did she say milk crickets? Oh, I'm not even gonna go to the Urban Dictionary to look that up. Don't look that up. Okay, I'm looking it up. That that's what it means? She's calling us milk crickets. Did she do you, do you even think do you guys think she even knows what that means? She probably doesn't know what it means. We're going to be good this year. Yes, we are. And if we are, maybe you'll get a prize. Would you have Yeah, I, I hope it's not I hope it's not a prize that goes where the sun don't shine because that's what you've been implying this whole thing. That you have some weird fetish for crickets. Like that's all I got from this. You have a cricket fetish. And of course your glasses show that you support deviancy so I'm not surprised. You probably have like your six girlfriends shove crickets up your have to be good. You can't ruin Black History Month this year, okay? Thank you, my baby. You already have, because I know the second I open the comments on that video, it's just gonna have a bunch of confused white people and furious black people. I think it's time you took a vacation to Haiti. You'll never ruin Black History Month there. Babies, bye. I'm gonna explain this to you nicely, but you don't do it. Yay, this country is going to shit. I'm so happy. <laughs> I've been this happy since my school counselor broke his hip in four places. He slipped on a banana peel. Okay, so is this girl related to the girl from the last video? Because I'm already seeing that she somehow identifies as a doll. The last girl, she also somehow identified as a doll. They both have pink hair that looks like it was cut by their five-year-old brothers and weird makeup. Although the girl from the last video is more clownish and hers is just a bunch of roaches all over her face. I use a doll and other neo-pronouns because of synesthesia, the connection of words to feelings or other things. Gender is a social construct is scientifically proven. All right, well, here's the conundrum. Gender isn't real. Biological sex is. Gender is a language thing. See, it's linguistic and everybody has to agree upon that. If not, you're just spewing a bunch of garbage that nobody knows what you're talking about. Neo pronouns are most commonly used by neurodivergent individuals because of different understandings of social constructs. If you have OCD, then you tend to fixate on stuff like this and obsess over it. Like gender. I use they them pronouns. The person you're saying is disrespectful to is me. I'm diagnosed with gender dysphoria. It's really not that hard to be diagnosed with gender dysphoria in 2024. I just have different gender dysphoria because I'm autistic. 
Neurodivergent trans people don't owe you an explanation for their existence. Don't worry, it's all good, because if I saw you in real life, the last thing I would want is an explanation, and the first thing I would want is distance. Neo pronouns didn't even exist until 2016, and then they just spread out like crazy during the pandemic in 2020, when everybody was bored as hell in their houses. I have a very serious question for those of you who keep missing my gender when I- <laughs> Well, since when do we all have such a deep emotional connection with this guy's gender to the point that we miss it? Are we really that obsessed with the male gender? Have you ever met a he him who looks like this, huh? She, her, yes, they, them, sure, he, him, who? And if you do know a he who hymns like this, power to him, but the he hymns I know never he the way I she- Huh? What? So when I present you with she, they, so kindly, could you not he, him all over my sleigh? Okay, I get it now. So, this person is actually Christmas gender. I mean, look at the way they're dressed. You got the Christmas ear muffs and everything, looking like a little darling snow angel. And that's why we shouldn't he, him all over Christmas's sleigh. Cause it's gonna tick off the reindeer. So I'm glad we settled that, cause now we all know that Mr. Christmas over here sure is a special snowflake. <laughs> I believe that every black woman on this planet should be entitled to financial compensation just for existence mm -hmm. on this earth in this society. How? What? And though I could go down my laundry list of reasons and likely convince you to and show you why I believe that, I'm not going to. What? Now, oh, now I get it. Now that you said it, I, I understand. What a phenomenal idea. In fact, I think it's such a great idea. I nominate you to be the leader of this operation. So, you give all your money to black women, and then let us know how it turned out. Just don't ask us for any when you run out. One of you is not actually a drag queen, and we're gonna get- Okay guys, one of these gays is not as gay as the others. To the bottom of this. I will say there's one of us that's wearing black. That's true. Ooh. Oh, I didn't even notice. Only a real queen would be like, you can wear flats. We just have to judge on who's the prettiest. Who has the now we need to find out which one of these gays didn't dial the gay up to 11. That's makeup. I don't know, I guess. It's really mean prettiest. Ooh, how dare you? I think yours is super, super clean and profesh, which means somebody else did it for you. Oh, oh so be these drag queens are so catty. You know, they need to make a reality TV show called The Fake Housewives of Drag. So, you know how it goes. They put them in the house and they're all interacting and only on the finale you find out that one of them actually had AIDS this whole time. Being good at drag is now a bad thing, apparently. Word. Shirley was definitely kind of like a SLW, a suspiciously large woman. You're at the bottom of the list for me right now. I right? was gonna say, I've never been a bottom, but... Now I know that you are a real drag queen. <laughs> right. Wait, are most drag queens top? Absolutely. Yes. What? Is that yeah. The thing? It's very surprising. It's It's almost all of them. It is not true at all. <laughs> Actually, no, I never dress like this. I do like oh, scary, really? yeah. Like, you oh, know, you let's, I was that. like, let's, how dare you? How dare you? <laughs> how dare you? You know, they show all these drag queens having fun, and then the adults watching are like, wow, these drag queens are having fun. I want them around my kids. And then your Jimmys and Timmys and Mollies go on Google and look up those drag queens that read them a storybook, and they are traumatized for life. What do I have to say? Just, just the question, please. No speech. What is the question? What do you have to say to the trans students on this campus who feel actively victimized by your presence here? Um... Go to your safe space, isn't that what it's for? Do you want to take a coloring book and a binky? Life's tough, get a helmet, man. I'm too <laughs> pregnant for this. Ooh! Super hot fire! As a non-binary person, what do you have to tell me about my identity? Because I know for a fact I'm not confused. That if you weren't an iPad kid, you wouldn't be confused. And you wouldn't be non-binary. Okay, next question. Great statement. That's a statement. That's a statement. Okay, you know your identity. You're not confused. Congratulations, sweetheart. Bet you know that pregnant Candace Owens, that progesterone just kicked in. Boom! Man, what would Daily Wire be without her? Ben Shapiro did what? Oh, she said Christ is King. Got it. Never forget, folks. To Ben Shapiro, Jesus was just some guy. Oh, ooh! 
We are yeah, you get it, mama. You history. history. That's what you need to be teaching. I'm teaching my son to grow up to be a man. A man. Yeah, and I don't want you hanging on flag. Right. No flag. <laughs> okay, I'm just repeating everything she's saying at this point. Get it, Mama Bear. You know, I don't advocate for anything illegal on this channel, but if every mom did this, this problem would be gone tomorrow. Can men get pregnant? No, 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 no. Mr. Chairman? Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> Define what, what a woman is. Well, let's see. I can't say that it's a... Someone with two X chromosomes because some women have a mutation and don't have two X chromosomes. Um, I can't say it's someone with the uterus because some women got their uterus removed. And if I say that it's an adult human female, people are just gonna say that I ran out of arguments. So, I guess I just have to be subjected to the stupid idea that a woman is a person who identifies as 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 a woman who identifies as a woman Even though it's all a logical fallacy. They're mixing together women with conditions with men in dresses. And they're putting that in the same category saying, Ha! Huh, if you say that, then you're also saying that! Like, Mr. Chairman, yeah. there are people who identify Women. as different genders who are capable of getting Identity. pregnant. That is my position on this. I am not going to feed more into the bigotry of that question. It is so bigoted to even ask that question. To even imply that a man cannot fall pregnant? Bigoted! Some, Some people, people think they're, they're Napoleon. Napoleon. So what is this right here? What? What's that? The pelvis. It's the only bone in the body that's gender specific. Oh she's, oh, she's so cute. Which means it's different in boys and girls. Yes, it is. Yes. Is that Steve Harvey? Is that Steve Harvey interviewing this little girl? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's adorable. Yes. The pelvis is job to protect the organs used for digesting and reproduction. Which means bone baby. <laughs> now that is a homeschooled baby dolphin. <laughs> and he's just standing there in shock because she is smarter than the entirety of the Democrat Party. Eyeballs. Is that a filter? It's not a filter, is it? He got one of those eye tattoos. Ah, look at the, 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 the. You cut off your nose. I hope those eyes don't glow in the dark. Balls. What? I'm very uncomfortable. Yeah, I had them removed in 2018. It's called an orchiectomy. As I consider myself to be a genderless dragon. Oh, okay. Yeah, you had a you had an orchiectomy because you're a non-binary dragon. Uh, of course, like, how did I not know? That's just so obvious, man. Yeah, you know that's not insane at all. And I will at some point get a full penectomy. No genitalia to identify my gender. I love that. You're still gonna have an X and a Y chromosome. Sorry, that, that'll that always be there. How on earth are you planning to go to the bathroom? Yeah. Bye bye balls. Bye bye, it's been nice loving you. I might intel all the other bull I think. What other bull Do tell. The they and them. <laughs> Yeah. And all that extra shit that we added during the pandemic because everyone was so bored on their f***ing houses. They... That's what I'm saying. The pandemic. Just started to make up more shit and more, more stuff, more stuff. Yeah. 
That's why the conservatives like me, because I'm just real. Yeah, you do have a conservative vibe to you. You're trans, you're... No, he does not have a conservative vibe. But I agree with what he's saying. Male or you're female? And you're standing on that. so mad when I say that. How are you a they? What the f*** does that mean? (laughs) What does that even mean? You're not a they. You're just an attention whore. Yeah, we don't count the voices in your head when we're talking to you. It's stupid is what it is. Yeah. But you need someone like me that looks like me to say it. Because if you say it, it turns into you're homophobic. You hate trans people. You hate gays. And it's just how you feel. You don't hate anyone. You just think it's stupid. Boom. We're good. What? We're good. Don't, no, no, look. I should spit on you. Don't spit on. Don't, don't spit do on. Don't, don't spit do on. Don't, spit on. Don't, don't you tell me to. He was joking. Yeah, yeah. He was joking. I hate your people. He was, Wait, don't, he, don't. I hate you. Right. I hate you with all my heart. What is he doing? Just from the TikToks we saw today, you can tell there's a demonic possession crisis in the U.S. Okay. I hate you. Okay. You. You. Why you telling me to fuck off? Imagine getting up in the morning and be like, oh, it's a wonderful day to go full demon face. I bet he has a TikTok account and he has a video up there that's like, hey guys, this is my 666th day of demonhood. There's nothing creepy about the occult. Buy my book, says Sticks, Hex, and Hammer 666. And by the way, ignore the 666. That doesn't mean anything either. I'm not banned on any platforms. My name is Sticks. We're just minding our own business. Yeah. You came up to us. Alright. Have a good night. See you in hell. Okay. You won't be going to hell. Okay. I promise you that. Okay. Your Jesus will not save you. Okay. He will not save you because he's talking like this. Jesus is black. Okay. So which one is it? Jesus is black or he doesn't exist? Are you saying that black people don't exist? Oh, okay, here we have it. Uh, Mr. Goathead over here is a lost sheep. No, you f***er! Damn! You white people! Of course, this is about race. This would just be the most racist thing ever if it were the other way around. I hate you with all my heart! You're being nice tonight. Have a good night. Lucifer will destroy you! He will suffer you. Yeah, we're close, we're close. Okay. Yeah, we're good. I feel like that one. And Mr. Goathead went away to go get a hornicure. Bro said, I feel like that went well. Just another typical night in Bollywood. horses are trained to not even be afraid of gunshots and this guy thinks some f- symbols is gonna scare it off i mean he's trying to make the horsey go Hee-hee-hee. he's probably glad he didn't because it's gonna hit him in the face you know he woke up that day and he thought oh what a wonderful day let me just go to the protest you know be peaceful and inclusive punch some nazis but then he saw this police horse and decided to bang some symbols instead. Here we go. This hmm? is it. This is it. <laughs> One thing about no is. Oh no, she, she is not gonna start. Really? That's the final boss for tonight? Can't be. Is she seriously gonna do a whole musical number? Is that I get bullied daily? Yeah, maybe you get bullied daily, because every day you open the dictionary, pick a random word. And then you just decide to use it as a pronoun. Being myself, yet I still post on the daily. So, and you're seriously just rhyme daily with daily. She rhymed daily with daily. One day I decided to post a video about how to use they them pronouns in sentences. Oh wow! Then a few friendly people asked if I could show how to use neo pronouns in sentences. I thought, hmm. Then I said, hmm. I thought, well, that could be a good idea and I'll get clout. I thought, hmm. Huh. Looked it up, hooked it up, now this is what I do. But it turns out that social change freaks out people not like you. No, it's just you. And people like you. I always knew this, but damn. So, if if you guys don't know, this is the lesbian Snow White, who also claims to be non-binary, yet 
refers to herself as lesbian Snow White. Like, lesbian is a woman who's attracted to women, and Snow White is a female fairy tale character. She presents herself as a very feminine, flat chested woman. And I'm thinking she either got a double mastectomy for attention, or she just didn't get lucky in the genetic lottery. Y'all can really just like chill? Now look at my views. Now look at my likes. The only people it appeals to are conservatives love to hit my bits with the views then the algorithm thinks i was meant for those that watch fox news see i don't have to deal with that problem because i get all this from libs of tiktok i thought i'd heard it all before speaking of i heard it all before i'm getting deja vu it's giving isaac cappy oh my gosh you guys it's giving isaac cappy she's doing it she's doing isaac cappy guys I had some epiphanies today. I had some real big epiphanies. I hope her family keeps her away from the overpass. But here's something new. I must be a freaking AI or I work for the GOP. Ew. You know, putting our differences aside, yeah, I can kind of sympathize with that because I can sympathize with people making up stupid theories about you. I must be controlled by my parents. I'm a troll and I'm secretly a hater. And I'm a 25 year old child impersonator. Ew. There's just no way someone would be okay with people who are comfortable with who they are. She just missed a big opportunity to say people who are okay with being gay. But honey. Your child's not confused. You're confused. Oh. I'm not confused. And if a child is confused, then it's because of you. And it's okay to accept people who are not like you. But if we tear each other down, there's only one thing we become. And that's ugly. Okay, wait. Let's see that again. And that's ugly. I want an early life check. You want to be ugly? I'm sure that you're the best person to be talking about ugly. I don't think so. You do you. And I'll be home. Okay, bye. Don't call me. This is taking too long. Just say your goodbyes and leave. Oh, I get it. You're bisexual. Like, bye. But you said you're a lesbian. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Go. Non-binary. <laughs> oh, I get it, yeah. Non-bi-nary. Okay, very funny. Leave. Okay. <laughs> well, that was, that was it. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. She seems nice. <laughs> oh, the despair. So that was the final boss for today? That was easy. <laughs> He's not expecting that. Hello, today's work. Oh course it's this piece of work <laughs> okay all right let's see what he has to say oh wow i want an early life check on him too Bird is you can fear i definitely want an early life check on him now yes you can fear forgive my german pronunciation fear <laughs> means seducer and Jugen means youth this is a word that the Nazi Nazis... Yes, you know, the Nazi Nazis, in case you were confused, confused. In Germany, in the 1930s, used to refer to LGBTQ people, i.e. groomer. Let's just stop on that frame for a second. One word, grooming. Pet <laughs> disgusting groomer. Groomer, old man is a trying to groom his kids. You're a grooming that's why we hate you. I mean, 
Are they wrong? Oh, okay. You covered their faces and their names because you don't want people in the comments being like, Hey, so-and-so, nice, that's what's up, that's what's up, good to you. If your modern American movement or political party has a one-to-one -one analogy to the Nazi Nazis, it is time to reevaluate your moral choices. Yeah, you know, morality police over here. <laughs> the guy who wants kids to join his Patreon so he can talk to them in private. And you know, this whole personality of his is just a fabrication and there's seething hatred underneath. How's up? Dude, you just need to leave the kids alone, okay? You need to stop telling children to join your Patreon so you can talk to them in private so you can tell them to be whatever that is. Okay, this is the logic that he's using. Hey, you drink water? Hitler drank water. You are literally Hitler. Just a reminder, I'm not accusing anybody in this video. Just speculating what might be going on in a situation like this. This is just a theory, my opinion. Funny how you think you're some sort of moral authority when you're literally over here causing little ones to stumble. And you know what I think? Your mother didn't love you. And your dad left. So you had this creepy teacher that acted the way that you're acting right now. And then she passed. And now you're trying to keep her alive by doing all this extra stuff. Just keep her alive in your head. Because this, this is a learned behavior. Somebody was acting the way that you are. And even though you're so manipulative now, you were gullible. And you let this person control you. Now they're gone, and you're left with the scars of what they did to you. And you make this calm face, but you're screaming inside. And you know exactly where you're going. So you want to drag everyone down with you. And in your eyes, everyone that you're recruiting to come down with you, the only thing they're good for is getting rid of anyone who gets in the way. But you know, that's just a theory. But don't forget, he who dies with the most boys still dies. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys hated those TikToks but loved my reaction. Remember boys, be fruitful and multiply, don't be fruity and kiss the guy. Bye! That's right, Cappy's in the portal. Cappy's in the portal. Cappy's in the building with songs about Epstein. It's Gregory's Jackets Epstein Edition. Guys, I had some epiphanies today. I had some real big epiphanies about some guys. A big network of guys and spies and lies and liars. Alright, think about this for a minute, okay? This Brothers like this so much. What the? Uh -uh. Children's content, everybody. I am so glad that my parents and my aunt raised me on 70s and 80s stuff.